As he waded through the media scrum last week, Callister Campbell knew exactly the bear trap which awaited him. He had helped compile the so-called September dossier. Tony Blair had then used it to tell MPs that the evidence of WMD was beyond doubt. But the JIC intelligence chiefs had warned Number 10 that intel on Saddam's weapons was sporadic, limited and patchy. And if members of the JIC, and we've already heard somebody who did serve on the JIC, Sir William Ehrman, were to say that beyond doubt was not a phrase that was justifiable, would you at that stage say that Parliament had been misled by the Prime Minister no, saying beyond doubt? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Okay. But now Mr Campbell has submitted an extraordinary and convoluted addendum to his evidence. I thought I was being asked whether, if it was not stated in the JIC assessments that the case, as put by the Prime Minister, was beyond doubt, would that mean he had misled Parliament? The reason I said no it wouldn't is because, as I stated elsewhere in evidence, the PM would be entitled to make the judgment he did based on the assessments he saw and had explained to him. And those words did not have to be in the assessments for him to make that statement. It's a document which would win no awards from the Plain English campaign, perhaps deliberately so, according to seasoned observers. And now I can't believe that as a professional communicator and a former tabloid journalist, Mr Campbell would not have done that deliberately. I think he must have done it deliberately. Um, because he knows that answer left both him and Tony Blair pretty vulnerable on the central question, on a question which is turning out to be absolutely fundamental to the issue of whether or not the dossier was sexed up. Contacted by phone last night, Alastair Campbell refused any further explanation. It's on the website, is all he would say. Paul Brennan, Sky News.